What's up, Power Director peeps? Today, I'm going to show all of my beautiful PD peeps 14 simple shortcuts you need to edit your videos faster using Power Director. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Shortcuts or hotkeys are a keystroke or a combination of keystrokes that provide quick access to a particular function within a program. So I'm going to show you how to get down with 14 keyboard shortcuts to edit your videos. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you where to go to change the shortcuts or create your own custom shortcuts. So make sure you watch until the end. Let's get to stroking. The first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is the home key. Now using the home key sends your playhead to the beginning of the timeline or the beginning of a clip, depending on what's selected. So let's say I move my playhead here to the middle of everything. If I press the home key, my playhead goes all the way back to the beginning. Now let's say I move my playhead here and I select, well, let's say here and I select this clip. Now, since this clip is selected, if I press the home key, it's going to go to the beginning of that clip. So use the home key based on what you have selected and you can jump and jump and jump to the beginning of clips or the beginning of your timeline. The next key I'm going to talk about is the end key. So the end key is the opposite of the home key. It will send your playhead to the end of the timeline or the end of a clip, depending on what's selected. So if I click here in an empty space, that means nothing selected. And if I click on the home button, playhead goes to the end of my timeline. Now let's say I select this clip here and if I press the home button, the keyboard goes to the end of that clip. Get it? Got it? Good. The next keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is control T. Now control T splits a clip. So if you place your playhead somewhere on a clip that you want to go ahead and split it, go ahead and press the control key on your keyboard, hold that down and then press the T button. And now you have two separate clips. Now, sometimes you might split something and you might be like, eh, I don't like that. I want to change that back. Well, there's a simple way to do that. And that is with our fourth keyboard shortcut, which is control Z. If you press control and hold it down and then press the Z key on your keyboard, it will undo anything that you do. So it undid the splitting of that clip that I just created. And now let's say, well, look, I'm just so undecisive. I can't figure out what the heck I want to do. Then that will take me to our fifth keyboard shortcut, which is a redo, which is control Y. So if I press control Y, it will redo what I undid and it will redo that split that I just made. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And since I'm still undecisive, I'm going to hit control Z and undo that again. That's just how I get down people. I'm all over the place. So the sixth shortcut key that I'm going to show you is copy and that is control C. So if you select a clip and you do control C, it will copy that clip. Now you can't see that it's copied, but if we go to our next keyboard short key, which is number seven in our list, it is paste. So if I place my playhead somewhere on the timeline where I want to paste this and I hit control V, now I have pasted the clip that I copied to a new location. So now let's say, hey, I don't want this clip here, so I want to get rid of it. I want to delete it. Well, that leads us to number eight on our shortcut list, and that is delete. So if we select a clip by left clicking on it, we can then hit the delete button on our keyboard and it will delete that clip. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now keep in mind, if you were to select a clip that's somewhere in the timeline, let's say we select this clip and we go ahead and hit the delete button, it's going to give us choices. It's going to say, do you want to remove and leave the gap here, remove and fill the gap or remove fill gap and move all your clips? Well, that's great that you can do that from here, but guess what? Shortcuts number nine and shortcut number 10 really take care of the need to even use this drop down because you can choose how you want to delete the clips just using shortcuts. So instead of just hitting delete and then choosing one of these, let's say I wanted to remove and fill the gap. Well, it tells you right here, control plus delete will remove this and close the gap. So I'm going to hit control and delete and it deleted that clip and moved those clips on the same timeline track over. 
Now, let's say I want to go ahead and move all of my clips over behind here, not just the ones on the timeline track. I want to remove all the clips. So if I select a clip and I do Alt Delete, it will delete that clip and move everything after that on all the timeline tracks over to fill in that gap. Let's say, hey, you know what? I do want to have a bit of a gap in between here. Well, that leads us to number 11 on our list, which is Alt and arrow right. If I want to move clips to the right, I could just hold down my Alt key and then I can press the arrow button while I'm holding it down and it'll move the clip one frame at a time. So if you ever just want to nudge something over to the right of uh, single frame, this is how you do it. Alt and arrow right. Now, keyboard shortcut number 12 is the opposite. Alt and arrow left, which will move any clip left one frame at a time. So I'll do Alt and I'll hit my left arrow button on my keyboard. And you'll see that it moves it over to the left one frame at a time. Now let's say we want to move our playhead one frame at a time. Well, you can do that with shortcut keys too because shortcut key number 13 is the period key on your keyboard. So if you have your playhead anywhere on the timeline that you wanna have it, and you say, hey, I need to move over just one frame because I wanna see what's in the next frame. Just press the period key on your keyboard. And you can see that the playhead is moving over a little bit and you can also see that in the preview window, you're moving one frame at a time by pressing the period button on your keyboard. Now, if you wanna move your playhead back or to the left one frame at a time, then you would use our final keyboard shortcut key, which is the comma key. So go ahead and press the comma key and you'll see that your playhead moves to the left. So it's moving back on a timeline. So those are all 14 of the keyboard shortcut keys I promised you, but Here's the bonus info I also promised you at the end of the video. If you wanna change or create your own shortcuts, it's really easy to do. You go up here to the preferences cog and you click on that. And then you go to the editing section. And down at the bottom it has keyboard hotkeys. If you click on customize, then you get to go ahead and change the shortcut keys based on which area of the program you're using. So you got your application menu bar. If you click on this carrot, there's several different functions for the application menu bar that you see at the top. You got file, you got edit, you got view and playback. So if I were to pick file and let's say I wanted to change save project right now, it's set to control S. If I click on this, I could just say, hey, I want uh, save project to just be S and I've changed it to S and let's say, Hey, guess what? I don't really like that being S. I want to change it back. You can always just hit the restore button up here and it'll change it back to the default. Now that works that way for all of these, whether it's system shortcuts, capture library workspace designer, you got the options to change any one of these to whatever you want it to be. Now, after you change them, you can go ahead and just hit okay, or you can do save as. If you do save as, you get the option to actually save a new hotkey set. So it's gonna ask you to name the hotkey set. Like if you wanna name it your name, my personal sh shortcuts, whatever you wanna name it, you just type it in and you click okay. And then when you're done, you have a, another option here in the hotkey set dropdown. Right now, I just have the default because I haven't created any new ones. But if you create a new hotkey set by using save as, they will show up here and you can switch to those and you can keep customizing or changing them however you like. As you can see, there are a bunch of shortcuts that you can use. I've only showed you 14. So go ahead and run through those options that I showed you and pick out which ones you might wanna use because there may be other ones that you find useful as well. If anyone told you that there are no shortcuts in life, now you can officially call them a liar. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.